Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. What a crazy day. So we actually had a fairly simple plan today and it was, you know, look for a little strength at the open and sell our sell most of our longs, uh, which we did. And then um, as we were watching this unfold, it kind of happened out of the blue. You can see that once we closed through this, we accelerated. So we did a little bit of a trading here at the close, but for the most part, um, com you know, just watch this happen. Did not didn't aggressively participate in it and then went flat for the weekend. So what trades did we do? So um, the first thing we did was an Alibaba. And so we had a specific trade on this where we're looking to sell it on strength. And we opened up at 144. Uh, it closed, I believe, around, yeah, 142 or so. And then it ran up to like 146. So we flipped out our options, all right? And we had a, a long call and then the put spread. And that was it. I mean, that was really, we weren't looking to hang on for any more or anything like that. So it's called, I call it feeding the ducks. And we'll look at a, a chart here. And then Tesla uh, was also fantastic. We had the 360 call, sold it at the open, sold the put credit, uh, put credit spread at the open. You can see it just plummeted from there. So yeah, it would have been awesome to uh, have then reversed and gone short, but our plan was, and just follow the plan to the T, was, all right, look, when we get into this, all right, and for those of you that don't have the voodoo lines, I mean, bam, let's look for a move into the voodoo line, and then let's get out, all right? Now, uh, it would have been awesome to short it, but we made nice, good money on this, and then from there, uh, I mean, essentially, it was just kind of waiting for, like, a hurry up and wait kind of mode. And then Alibaba, uh, we were looking more for, it's like, all right, we, you know, we, we got up here, uh, we had a nice close here, and when we got, we pushed through that snow line and into the mogul there, it's like, let's flip this out. So, so that was, that was great. Um, from there, uh, it was pretty amazing watching some of the stuff that happened here in stocks like Amazon and things like that too. And I've, we've seen this before now, it seems to happen every monthly expiration where there's a flush day. And we went through and talked about a pot couple of potential things where we could, you know, sell some puts and buy some calls, you know, near the end of the day for a hold on Monday. But r at the end of the day, I just decided to go 100% flat. Like, let's just see, let's have a fully loaded gun for whatever is set to happen on Monday. If we're going to rally, great, we can do that. If we are going to continue to fall, we'll, we'll have, you know, we, we'll be locked and loaded in cash there to do that as well. Um, other stocks here, NVIDIA, same thing. You got the gap up and then the rollover and die. So now the question is, is what about next week? And if we look at the volume today, and it's always important to look at the volume on these, you'll see that by far today's decline had the highest volume of the year. Now we saw something similar last Wednesday, but you'll see this time around the volume was significantly higher. And something like this, I mean, and typically when I see something like this, and I, and I was kind of looking for this here, is I look at it as that's a topping sign where then you short the first rally, you know, back to the key moving average and you look for it to go down. And of course, in this case, we just kept on going and that's fine. Um, so the question here is, do we blindly buy the dip? Okay. Or is it time to start shorting the rallies? Well, for me, I look, I'm very skeptical of the market. I like to play the trend. But once you close below the 21, to me, it opens up the door for a, train, a trend change. Now, here we close below the 21, but the next day we're right back up above it. So Monday is going to be a big day. If we get a lower close below um, today's close, that to me is a sell signal. Okay, and I will pursue it uh, with vigor. All right, so again, uh, another solid week, flat. Um, going into the weekend, and we'll be locked and loaded and ready to go on Monday. Now, I'm super excited because Monday and Tuesday we're going to be doing our live event. And uh, there is a way that you can watch that. Uh, and we'll dive into that here in just a second. If you haven't already seen it, uh, be sure to take a look at our Simpler Trading Weekly Wrap-Up. We, we're doing this in each week. Uh, Danielle's been putting this together and has been killing it. And we just this is a, it's a really great thing where you just have a sum summary of the week, the trades that we did. Um, so you can learn some of our strategies plus our sentiment for the next week. And uh, that's just a free thing that we post there, but that's been uh, super, super useful. And Danielle's been killing it on there. So thank you, Danielle. And if you go and check, you'll see the one that's for uh, today, June 9th. So if you aren't familiar with this, now the live event is sold out, uh, unfortunately, if you want to go, but um, it's going to be start off on a kickoff on Sunday night, and then we have live trading on the 12th and the 13th, and this will be in Austin. And it's great, we all get to just kind of sit there and trade live and spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. 
Uh, however, if you go to simplertrading.com forward slash Austin, you can register to see this as a live stream so you can see it from the comfort of your own home. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And what's going to be great is on Monday, I'll be trading live. I'm flat, okay? I'm flat in my account. So anything can happen on Monday and we'll be ready for it. And I'll obviously should be showing you and walking you through that real time. So if you're just interested in watching that and just kind of seeing how we do a live event from the comfort of your own home, that is available. And then keep in mind too, uh, for those of you, uh, we did a webinar on this last night. We've got this URL here, simplertrading.com forward slash weekly. And this is setting us up for a special class we're doing on June 17th. Okay, and this is one that I'm gonna be doing. And it's essentially, it's calling the weekly wire where the goal is to make a minimum of two and a half percent a week. So if you've got a $10,000 account, your goal is to set it up where you're making at least $250 a week, but at a minimum, but it also opens up the door for a whole lot more. So, and I've shown in the webinar, I showed my account statements, I've shown the wire outs, but it's really just, uh, the key with this is that in the strategy class, I'm gonna show you the specific tool I'm using, plus I'm gonna show you the setups, and plus we're gonna talk about the mentality of it. And then if you wanna do the live trading with me, and every class I've done this year and last year, the live trading portion has actually ended up paying for the class, okay? But you'll be doing the strategy class, the two weeks stats tool, the weekly stats tool, and of course the live trading days. And the reason the stats tool is so important is because everybody right now is working off the expected move, which is great. Um, but there are times when the expected move and the stats tool are at odds. And when they are, it's the stat tool, stats tool that wins the day, okay? And that is a, it's, it's an edge that we can exploit. And then if you're not currently a gold member, uh, this is where we text out all the trades. We texted out all the trades that we did today. Um, for 1747, it gets you six months of the gold plan plus the live trading plus this. So anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're looking at uh, doing a, a lot of uh, fun and interesting trades that week and uh, looking, forward to, looking forward to that. So everybody else, looking forward to seeing you on Monday at the live event or the live stream. You guys have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you on the other side.